I'm CT Stealth and this is my third video about uh, intro to expressions. In this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to cre utilize expressions in order to make your life as an animator easier. Um, as you can see here I have two balls and I have two diving boards. Uh, they're kind of primitive but they, they get the job done. So what I want to do as an animator is like okay I want the ball to bounce on the diving board. The diving board will bend which I put uh, a deformer on. Well, actually, it went away. You fix that. And okay, there we go. So um, there's a deformer on it, and as you can see, I just select the curvature, and I can move the board back and forth. Now, as an animator, if I was going to animate that, I would bounce the ball up and down, and keyframe it. Then I would have to select the bend and then curvature and set this up. But that can be really tedious as I keep trying to get in like fine tune stuff. As I get really close to uh, the board, I'd have to keep going back to this bend here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up something similar to uh, what I've done over here. And basically, um, I've set this ball here and I created what's called an attribute. And I placed it here in the channel box. Now all I have to do is I have to select the ball and I I have used an expression that if I uh, select this I can actually still have the ball selected and use the bounciness which is what I named the attribute to create the uh, the diving board's bend so I don't have to keep going back and forth between the two this is extremely helpful and is one of the pr principles of beginning how to rig so in order in order to show you how to do that, it's re relatively simple. Um, something of this primitiveness is actually simple to do, so it's uh, easy to get across. So, first I need to know which one I want, what I'm going to be animating at the time. Uh, in this case, it would be the ball, because I, need, I would like to have the ball uh, selected and be able to adjust that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the ball, and uh, notice the name of the attribute. Uh, this ball is P Sphere 1. This uh, cube here is P Cube 1. Um, it's actually better if you name your things. I just failed. Sorry. So uh, I need to know what the attribute is I'm going to edit. In this case, it's called Curvature. So to get that, I'm going to select the Curvature. And I'm going to go to Edit Expressions. And it's going to pull up my expression window. Now what I have here is the bend 3 curvature attribute. Here's the object over here and the curvature is here. So I'll place it here. Let me scale this for you. All right. So as you can see bend 3 dot curvature. Now I need it to equal an attribute, but I need to create the attribute first. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go I'm going to select the ball and go to modify add attribute. Now, I'm going to have this uh, list of he here, list of details here, and uh, the long name, in this case, I'm going to call it bounciness. It's just something I preferred. There's diff many different data types, but for the most part, most attributes are set as float. Float is something that is t typically adjustable between any number, whether it's uh, negative, positive, a decimal, it doesn't matter. Um, the other ones are varied, and I, I advise you looking them up in the Maya help. So I have my attribute created, but there's not a sign. So I'm going to go back to the bend, bend 3, curvature, select edit expressions, paste my uh, expressions, and size it up for you. And now i am just got to equal it. Remember my uh, the name of my object? It was P sphere 1. And the attribute, which I just created, and this is case sensitive, is a... Uh, bounciness. Okay. So it's uh, bend 3 dot curvature is equal to p sphere 1 dot bounciness. Because here's the object and here's the attribute. Now all I'm going to do is create and close and then I'll select my ball and then I'll select the attribute that I had. I'm holding down control middle mouse button and as you can see the ball is still selected and I can still manipulate my object. So um, I hope that will help quite a lot in your animations, and uh, I look forward to seeing them. If you have any uh, questions, feel free to uh, 
comment down below or send me a message. Thank you.